Here we are and welcome to a new episode of the Friday Night Movie Podcast where we will be reading a list and giving our opinions. So it's a good thing you tuned in today. Lily, Shy, how you doing? Oh, should I the, get more specific? The best? Wait, the yeah. best is how... Yeah, we are, we're just reading random lists. We're reading grocery lists. I mean, lists. we could, honestly, reading. with the three of us, we could be. No, we're going to... It's Golden Globes. We're at Golden Globes. We're just announced. We're going to dive in. We're going to give our opinions. We're going to buy rent, miss some stuff. It's quite possible we haven't seen many of the things on this list. So makes it, that makes it better. really matter. It makes I it feel like there's a lot more, of these mo- more movies that are going to go on that Becky list that you have of important movies that you've never seen, but you never really admit oh, you've never yeah, seen. Yeah, you know what? Like Boyhood, 100%. things like that. Movies I for sure pretend I mean, seen. The, the, let's just start with the numero uno, where even Jose looked at me and he was like, wow, we should really sit down and just like watch Oppenheimer. And I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no, no. He's like, but Lily, it's Nolan. It's like such a big deal. This movie's got accolades. And I was like, I will pretend I've seen it. I'm not in the mood for nuclear war. I was just like, <laughs> nope. I was like, I'm not the in the mood for, for Oppen- nuclear war. <laughs> the, I was like, the moment for Oppenheimer passed. I have seen it before October. I was like, nope, Amazing. not doing it. He was like, but it's so. I was like, no, I, like, right. I will forever pretend I've I seen believe it. you that everyone in that movie was amazing. And now I will never yeah. watch it. And then we have the Scorsese's Killers of the Flower Moon. Which I, Which I can't, I, I, I'm not, I don't want to see because, is amazing. but I, I'm not interested in seeing purely because on the issue of things being long, like he, he no longer no, has I to feel edit like his you, movies. No, he, he doesn't. And I feel like if you go about it as a three part mini series and you watch it oh. over three nights in your mind, you probably will enjoy it. And that's how it probably should have been released. If you think of it like as Like all film, of his movies? Like every exactly. single one of his movies? I think part of the problem with The Irishman is the subject matter was just not interesting enough for that much movie. Whereas this, I think, is very complex and it's a true story. And I mean, the other one was too, but a lot of speculation in the other one. This is real events. And I think it's very complex and interesting. And I think over three days, I will give it a try at some point. Okay. Now, what about Maestro with Bradley Cooper? And his schnoz. You know, it's another one of those where I'm like, I'm sure it's amazing, but I just, I'm having, Do we think I it's don't amazing? know. Yeah, because Bradley Cooper's wonderful and whatever her face, who's also in it, is wonderful. And <laughs> Carrie Mulligan? Yeah, whenever he cares about a is project it and it's his. Yeah, no, I'm sure it's great. It'll be like, you know, A Star is Born, which I also never saw. Um, <laughs> oh. Either version. Um, I'm sure it'll be great just like that one. But my, I just have not been able to get either version, all three the versions. There's, there's three versions. I've, there's oh, the there's the three. The Definitely bird. haven't yeah. seen that first or <laughs> second or third one. Um, no, but I just I haven't been able. But he's to like get both over versions the of a star is <laughs> both three versions. Wait, what's the third one? The old, 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 old. Like, there's Black the Strayhand one. There's one. No, before there's Stryband. one before. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness. No, but, but, um, I, I just I haven't been able to get over the hump of, of the nose of the nose, and and I just like I it kind of makes me oh, like it makes me gag a so wait, little i i have a nose question mm-hmm. so i, I have a nose if question. someone was playing you Make, would we exactly oh, in that great... case they would need a prosthetic exactly or, so that's what or, i'm or asking jose. or jose guys right like if someone cast well no well, not scott if not if you got scott back you're just back you're right you're right you're right sorry i don't even know why i bothered i don't so, know why I bothered. but 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 you, you can't just cast because someone looks but but i'm just saying if you, they were making a movie about me it's kind of boring but if they're gonna make a movie about me as my family right because it's his family you know what it would be called do you know, you, know, you know what it would be called what stuff <laughs> <laughs> and then the tagline is my stuff <laughs> I mean, um, I see it in theaters i got a lot of it i i'm um, just saying i'm just saying if i you don't think we it, would have to i do not think we would have to make your nose look it's not freddie mercury and his teeth like you couldn't make a movie you couldn't make uh, bohemian rhapsody Without recreating the uh, well, he believed under, he, he, he believed he believed the teeth were also part of his voice. His voice, his yeah. voice right? Yes. It was inherent. You could make shine the biopic called stuff or maestro, 
without the note. It's not like he was known so, for his. It didn't so, make him compose better. So or here's a here, conduct here, better. Here's a controversial take. But how would you know he's a Jew if he didn't have a? Well, big well nose? I was going to say, what if they <laughs> took what if they took other Jewish stereotypes and just started enhancing them in movies to make sure people know people were Jews? Like, let's say we were making a movie about like a Jewish person who is cheap, right? But like medium cheap. But <laughs> like in the movie, they're like, well, we really want to make sure everyone knows they're Jewish. Oh. I mean, they feel like wait, I feel like they do that all the time. I think they do. I think that's exactly what that is. The thing. But, but, but uh, yeah, I think, you know, I don't know. I think also. They, they, they were like neurotic. They were a neurotic Jew in real life. Yeah. Right. Let's, um, okay. I think, I think we're seeing a pattern. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Maybe the nose is just consistent behavior. It just, can, yeah. Yeah. But it, it, I guess it's better that the family endorsed it. Yeah. Sure. It makes it maybe possible or, to see it, you know, yeah. maybe. I mean, but that's... also like, but the family endorsing it is also like one of these things where like, I'm glad they did because they don't want to be sad about their movie, but like how much were they involved in the nose makeup? Also, like did, they endorsed it, but no one else in the room be like, guys, is this a bad idea? <laughs> but also, but, but like, exactly one and two, like you tell me if you out into a room with Bradley Cooper, if you'd be able to resist being glamored. Like, oh, I just yeah, don't, like, I just I don't know. The the also, like, cannot right, like what email did they also, like, what email did they get? Well, he's, he, like, isn't we he also the, pro- but he, he's also the he's producer. He's the producer, yeah. He's the producer. So he, yeah. who's going to overrule it? No, 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 absolutely. Right. Um, well, anyways, we're, we're, I, I, I'm, I'm okay. still very interested in it. Um, um, we're coming up on one, though, that is, like, I think going to win everything. It's supposed to be out of control amazing. Which one of the ones that are left do you think I'm talking about? You're, I think you're talking about past lives or Anatomy of the Fall. No, Anatomy of the Fall. It's supposed to be. What is that? Phenomenal. Anatomy of the Fall. Of, uh, of fall. fall. What, okay, that one too. Which one? It's is a that? sequel to Legends of the Fall. No, Wait, it's what's not. Anatomy of the of um, a Fall? A film by Justine Triette. Anatomy it is of a Fall. Like, I, it won the Palm d'Or at Cannes. I'm and sure is I've it, seen the preview. It's like. A northern country. Norway, maybe? Which one's the zone of interest? Oh, I don't know. I God, don't I, know I, you know what? I have seen <laughs> none of these. This is so much fun. Now let's... So, so okay. So, an anim- I think we all have to see an anime. The Fog has got amazing reviews. Okay, so we'll just say that I think that's a really front runner. I saw Past Lives. I think, Becky, you will love it. I think Vlad will yeah. love it. It's beautiful. Are you, is it best picture? No, but it's are beautiful. Are you guys so excited for Poor Things? Isn't that by the guy that did The Lobster? Lily's number one favorite movie. Shy's um, number one favorite yes, movie. where I've he makes the, the doll I've, that's I've, real. Yes, with I, 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 um, Emma Stone. I'm very excited. Mm-hmm. Oh my okay. God. No, zone, zone of Interest. Which one's that? Oh, I don't know. I've never even so, heard of so, that. So to be clear, it's listeners. about the commandant of Auschwitz and his wife trying to build oh, a dream right, life right, for right. their family. Here's what I'm trying, trying to, to do. What is this oh, a movie that know. humanizes them? Well, is I don't know. It, it, it must. Where it's like, let's. What is it about? Sure. I, the commandant about the guy that what? Who, like, I'm. I'm sure though. I'm. Sh- I'm sure. I'm sure oh. it's very complicated, and I'm. I'm. I doubt this movie's message is like. He you know, was bad. Are good. Yeah. I, no, no, no. I mean, I'm sure there's some sort of humanity in it, but I, I doubt this movie's like message is like, well, he made the garden nice. Like, uh, like I'm sure there's, you know, I'm sure there's. I don't a even know about this. All right, All right let's okay. go to another category. This is also still the Golden Globes. Just the dumbest thing in the entire world is they have one for best picture, right, and then drama. And then everything else is either oh, a is musical it, or a comedy. Oh, is it comedy. drama? Oh, it is drama. Right. Everything yeah. else Brady is musical Ray? or comedy. Musical or comedy. So, like, no action movies? I don't get it. No action movies, drama? Right. No, right. It's, <laughs> right. it's like, if it's funny, it goes over here. If there's a song, it goes over here. Did you see it was just circulating on Instagram? I just saw somebody post that studios are now lying about whether or not they're they're like keeping secret if movies are musicals when they're advertising them because so they don't get put 
Because no, because parent no parents only test audiences hate musicals, <laughs> so they're just tricking people into <laughs> seeing their movies. Oh, but I could God. also think this is probably Katz's fault, which I think is amazing. Okay, so best Katz's musical or fault. comedy? So best <laughs> musical or comedy? Yes, Katz had to. So so we've got Barbie, Pure Things, Poor Things, sorry, American Fiction, The Holdovers, which that I'm really excited for. Very that. exciting. Made, yeah, I know. Super May, de- May December, which oof, that is not um like I mean amazing actors, but the plot is not. Allie asked me, she's like, so there's this movie, and well, it's about it's kind of like the Mary Kay Letourneau story, but from a journalist. But it, point no, of view. but then it's no, 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 no but then it's actor. like it's like twenty years later, and the kid is right. an adult, adult, and now right. someone is going to play a the woman. Oh no, right, it's an actor. Right, it's an actor, right, and so right. she goes to like study. Like spend time uh, like, with them and get to know them, but yeah. then like, I don't of know. Of course, ends up it gets with weird. How is that a guy. comedy or a musical? I don't see how that's a musical or a comedy. <laughs> oh my god, you're right. Wait, that is that a so joke? Weird. I've seen the trailer like three times, and it What's looks running so time? depressing. Maybe it's just like really short, right, I, and so they you, had have, to make it. A- have you guys seen? Or it's released in that for or, Netflix, no, it, so it, they it, just yeah, no, it, it has there? a sing- it has it has a singing scene. Maybe. No. Um, oh my God, it, this is ridiculous. So Barbie's going to win it, that, obviously. Thanks. Barbie's the best. I think I'm settled in now, and Barbie is my best movie of the year. I've seen it four times. I, Every time I, do I love really it. I really want to see American fiction, though. That looks excellent. Tell, tell yes, us that about that. Jeffrey Wright. That looks excellent. What's that about? It's about like a publisher, right? Who does a, or like a, a, I don't know, a novelist who does he writes as like a joke or sort of as a he, not seriously this sort of black story like very ghetto like what people want to read and then it becomes super famous <laughs> and it's um yeah i mean it's I, i'll read you the thing a novelist yeah a novelist who's fed up with establishment profiting from black entertainment uses a pen name to write a book that propels him to the heart of hypocrisy and the madness he claims to disdain oh um, that's cool that, so that like, reminds me of he the does all these of... crazy stereotypes and all that kind of yeah. stuff and then it becomes super Hilarious. famous that, that reminds me yeah. of the premise of what was once my favorite spike lee movie and i think might still be but i i've like Black Klansmen and and do the right thing really kind of mess up my rankings, but Bamboozled is very. Bamboozled. Very, I mean, I I don't know if these yeah. are remotely going to be aesthetically similar songs, mm-hmm. but wow, um, uh, but wow, um, uh, that's a cool movie. This reminds me of that. I'm very interested in that. And, okay. and Jeffrey Wright, Tracy Ellis Ross. I mean, please, we yeah. this cast mm-hmm. is amazing. Now, um, Brad. Now we're at uh, director. I don't think we need to talk about director. That's not um, interesting. We have animated. Oh, on my list, it's animated. Next. No, I'm looking at the variety list. Let's, I, but but like oh, I'm director. I'm looking at the list Lily sent. Animated, yeah, looking at the Golden Globes. Animated. Director. I've seen most of these movies because I have children. Oh, really? Okay. So I actually can well, take weigh us, in take, on take, it. take us to it. Well, I mean, I think we've all seen. Well, I've seen three of them, which counts as a lot. But I've also seen the trailer for Wish like twelve times, and I've seen the oh, ad for Karen. How's that? Karen. Oh, How's the trailer it's... for Wish? It looks fine, but the animation like so it's the boy and the heron haven't seen it, but looks really good. Uh, Elemental, I really waver back and forth on Elemental. But my kids being, find it very between, boring. Sorry. Be, no, but I'm talking about for me between being yeah. deeply moved by it and oh. finding it really emotional and then crying, but I cry all the time, and being a oh. little bit like, okay, it feels. Like the a lot of it feels recycled in terms of like character design and that and the characters themselves. You know, it's like a very it reminds me a lot of Inside Out. Inside you know, out. It, it looks really like feels, Inside Out. Feels like it's borrowed a lot from that. But, but it's at the like same Outside time, Out because it's all elements. Right. Well, yeah, but, it's, but, it, but but the story, <laughs> the theme of it, the story of being this podcast um, is so funny of being an immigrant. <laughs> Like I'm trying to draw something serious, and like feel oh, okay. like first generation <laughs> child of an immigrant, and that you know that That's a- that strain on the parental child relationship. Like it's so beautiful and moving, but then there's also a part of it that I think more like aesthetically that feels very borrowed. Um, but I think you know, overall, I did like it. Spider- I mean, Spider Verse will probably. Spider-verse. 
it's across the way. Controversial. 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 How many movies are in that movie? <laughs> but my 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 winner is the Super Mario my Super Mario Brothers movie for me. That movie, like I don't know what their what the criteria are for an animated movie winning, but that movie delivers on a promise. So of that's forty what years. Was, that's what I was gonna get to. Is that I haven't seen all of them, so I can't speak to the other ones. Wish from the trailer doesn't look particularly original in terms of story, but the style looks really nice. You know, so kind of opposite of Elemental. Mario Brothers, we saw it in theaters, and I have to tell you, we have rewatched it so many times in our house, and every time, everyone in the room is laughing, we're enjoying it, it's delivering on its promise, it is so well done. So, I I actually can, think can Super I Mario Brothers I'm, is my top. Can I say I'm disappointed that Ninja Turtles isn't on there? I thought it was oh, so yeah. well done. I haven't so seen it yet. Cool. I really want to see it. What? Sure, okay, I have a category it. question. No, it might have been um, maybe like for the. But time. it came out in the summer. I don't right? know how these things work. Um, okay, I have a hmm. I have a category question. What in the world is the category of cinematic and box office achievement? Office like, achievement. Who, I like know. Who made oh, the most that, money? That, no, no. Is that I, a new category? I think that's that's your blockbuster movie category. Oh, that's like what? like these are yeah yeah because if you think about this but then why are they allowed to compete in the other ones well, then barbie be, and oppenheimer this shouldn't get this to, to me in the other ones this to me makes sense because this is honoring the movies that people actually like and if you want anyone <laughs> to care about the golden globes and and movie this theaters, is definitely which, which, so which they're which the industry is very in. worried about movie theaters imploding on themselves this is a way of pumping up those movies. And I I think, I mean, so, I, I mean, this is really interesting because in this, so these are, I guess, the top whatever, however many box office movies all against each other. To me, I forgot Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was this year. That movie is <gasps> incredible. Incre- like, were we not sobbing? We were sobbing. I haven't seen that it yet. Was I seen we saw it twice in theaters. We saw it twice yeah. in theaters. Wow! Shout out to shout yet. out to Joe from the University of Arizona, who we went. True. Who we went to the movies with. Oh my god, that movie is incredible. It will not win this thing, but that movie is incredible. Mm-hmm. It has some of the best music use of music ever mm-hmm. in a movie. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but what do you think about? the Taylor Swift Eras Tour being nominated and should it win a movie award? It's, it's a, it's apparently a great concert film, but like, if it's a a great concert film, then sure. If it is, if it's just because it's her, then no. And you'll be the judge of that because I've only seen none. I've watched many concert films. So you should watch it and let me know. I've watched many, many concert films. The, the standard was set by Scorsese just to come back to Scorsese. Right. When he did exactly. the when he did the last waltz. And right. and I don't think you you're know, getting that. No, it's it's like a good representation of her thing, but I don't know, is it different than a fish concert video or a Rolling Stones? But it's concert but video? also it's nominated in cinematic okay, nominated in cinematic box office achievement, but it's not nominated as a musical. But very May weird. December is nominated as a comedy. As a comedy. So I'm just going to go. I'm going to ask so it's the like, basic what question. The what are the rules? Because it roles? should. Because it could win musical. I think but, it. But I but, think but if other if other ones get double nominations, she should get a double nomination. Definitely, it's fair. I'm just putting that out there. But then She's singing you know, all the time. In that group, I would be like happy if Barbie won, even though in this cinematic group. She will. Garden it's like Galaxy the three. Garden like Galaxy. it's it's. I think Barbie will. I think it's like one of the highest grossing movies. I mean, by a female director ever. But yeah, I think it single handedly Taylor and also, Barbie have saved the economy. So it's one or the it, other. It, it was also Star Wars Beyonce. prequels level fun going to the movie theater because everybody was for dressed what up. for what for for Barbie. Bart, like going to that, oh, but I guess yeah. Taylor Swift is a similar thing. Like people are going multiple times and renting out theaters. Ugh. I don't want to be that person that's like when something theater. is such a thing. I'm like Ugh, enough already, but I'm like at that point, I don't want to be yeah. the curmudgeon who's. I don't want to be the Grinch of Taylor Swift, but I'm like, it's guys, you need to calm down. It's a lot. It's a lot. Like I feel okay. like as a society, it's a lot. I'm sorry. Okay, now I have. Now I want to get into best original song. 
Okay. You have okay, so you have the Peaches, Peaches, Peaches song from Jack Black, which has like 12 what? writers, and I honestly thought it was an improv by him, but that's amazing. What's it um, from? From I don't even Mario care Brothers. About this. Oh, for Mario Brothers! Oh, yes, yeah. My and I kids love the idea. Lo- love that album, and I have to listen to it all the time. And they love the rap. They love that whole album. I hope and for I their lo- sake. I love the idea of Peaches. Uh, oh I love God. the idea of Barbie Jack Black has winning three, awards. Barbie has three songs. Obviously, I'm just Ken is going to win because that's the funny one. Just yeah, I'm just Ken is absolutely going to win. I, I mean, I, I hope uh, so. But I what ask- is there? But Billie Eilish's song, oh my god! Even oh, I get that mad song is that song plays. That song is so gorgeous. Yeah. Oh my goodness! But here, yeah. I have a question. Imagine you make a movie. You've got some big stars in it. You love your movie. You're so proud of it. And you find out it gets nominated, and it's only nominated for best song. <laughs> are you just like, well, I guess we did one thing right? Yeah, <laughs> you are. You can like, say it's, it's a, good to be nominated. You can say it's a but, Golden Globe nominated. Well, then, movie. Then nominated I think, movie. I think the hard, well, is it a hard category? Okay, let's go. No, this is a very hard category because no, no. there's three Barbie songs that could split the Barbie vote. Ugh, whatever. It's going like, to be a Barbie song. Can. Like, I'm just not, it's, I'm not I'm like, I, just, I don't feel like I want to spend more time on this because I know it's going to be a Barbie song. So moving on, I have a more important question. It goes okay. back to the, what are the rules? Best television series, musical or comedy? The Bear. <laughs> That's a comedy. I mean, there's yeah, yeah. funny well, okay, parts hold on. of it. I, I'll make no, the case. You can't have the bear. Ba- no, I'm sorry. I don't that's think you can have trauma. bear, Barry, Ted Lasso, and jury duty in the same category. Okay, well, obviously, so hold- if you're telling me, no, no, no. If you're telling me this is a, a nomination for best musical or comedy, then the best comedy here is jury duty. The bear is the best show. But Jury Duty is the the only one in the cat like that's not it's not in the right category so it shouldn't win and if it wins over Jury Duty that's a shot that's like okay bear, like the bear though is Jury isn't Duty the bear so done in a half isn't the bear done in a half hour format and it does have yes, funny parts but these rules but are just because it's a half a hour thing. it's a comedy it's like I'm over, first it. Of all, Shai, I'm over it everything should be a half hour okay yes everything so, should be a half hour and what about when you think we should be like penalizing Apple shows for being a or half Netflix an hour. shows what do you get to weird Apple or Netflix shows where it's like. 47 minutes or like <laughs> an hour and eight minutes like no it's like 38 minutes Lasso, 43 minutes then they're never the same the amount because of time. doesn't it have like multiple episodes that are 53 uh, minutes or something insane uh, uh, and unnecessary uh, so so i would say i'm very okay, worked up right now but you're right but you're right jury duty which is distinguished as being on amazon freebie not just amazon but jury duty was amazing and incredible surprise i think barry the other seasons for sure, but not this third season. Last it, episode. But Jury Duty gave us something we didn't have already. It gave yeah. us something new. How do you make anything new? And it gave us something new. The fact that James Marsden is nominated for Golden Globe <laughs> for this show. Nothing. Not that he's nominated. I think he's wonderful. I just mean for this show <laughs> is phenomenal. And I'm so glad it's getting the credit it deserves. But I think part of it is the, the just making something new that people loved. And I'm so glad it worked out for them. The guy they chose is genuinely just a Incredible. wonderful person. And, um, but and, um, I think, yeah, no, sorry. Well, I, I want to ask you about the drama category, though. So if the bear's not in the drama category, 1923, don't know what it is. The Crown, I still can't tell if it's a, a documentary. Oh God, or, just, there's so many. I don't care. The Diplomat, my former Mom State says, friends like it because they make the State Mom Department loves it. look very, look very good. Everyone looking. loves the Diplomat. Mom um, loves it. It must be very um, realistic because I found the first episode so boring. So it probably is like <laughs> just like politics. I'm like, oh my God, I could not care less. But great. Um, the so last of us, Someone's great. really mad that they got a posting that's not the posting that they wanted. Oh, that's like, something. I get mad about that stuff all the time. But then they have to take the posting because it's, the president they have to yeah whatever. they have whatever they have to shine knows. shine knows. the the um, morning show which like oh is... that's a show that should be 27 minutes <laughs> i cannot with that show being an hour long in each episode people i just i, I, I guess but boring. i give apple credit they really committed to it because like they, they did just kept it going and people just they if they keep serving you jennifer aniston and reese witherspoon and reese witherspoon you have to watch you, it well what more do you want you, now, Succession, which I think should win because that was 
I mean, the last the season of that show, show yeah. is like one of the best things I've ever seen. Yeah. Um, and it's better, I think, than anything that's on here. Sorry. Um, but, but you're, you're, you're getting, you're getting my, but, to the most controversial and probably but I'm best missing, category. I'm missing, I'm, I'm missing where's shrinking. I think shrinking is a good candidate. Hey, that's a comedy. That's I think that's a, I that, that's, a that's a comedy. A com- I think that's a comedy. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's a comedy, people. and it should have been nominated, especially over these. Co- well, these are good shows. All of these are good shows. I don't know. I think that should have been nominated. Okay, the so Bear your... should have been in drama, leaving a spot for shrinking. That's that's why. Oh, the, the best television limited series that is on fire that category, and just enjoy it now because next year with writer strike and actor strike. You're not going to have any categories. <laughs> so enjoy, <laughs> while, enjoy the juiciness while it lasts, because this limited series category is wow. Wait, I've only seen one you, of the things in here. Beef lessons in chemistry. This one, yeah, yeah. Casey Jones love, in the six. Yeah, people All love lessons in chemistry. See, fellow travelers, got amazing reviews. Uh, apparently, like, hey, Jill Cargman highly endorses fellow travelers. Everybody, supposedly amazing, and beef is one of the best things I've ever seen on television. Really, I started it and I like I was. Oh my god! I was scared off because I thought it was a comedy, and then I was told it was a drama, and I'm like, oh, it's a, it's both, and it goes shy. It takes you on a journey. That uncomfortableness takes you then into it, through it, and out the other side. But it's worth it. It's about people with really bad road rage. Um, just. To rage at two angry people who decide, but it's not like war the um, that what war the roses where it, you know what I mean. It it doesn't go. It knows how, it, it contains itself in a way where there's you're actually able to follow a story that gets layered. It's not just for the sake of two people trying to you know ruin each other's lives, but there are two people that become extraordinarily. Although it does get pretty crazy at the end of the the show, but. Two people that, yeah, they happen to cross paths and decide to destroy each other. It's, but it's fantastic. Mm-hmm. It's really worth seeing. I think, uh, I think it's worth seeing. I, on the, and just jumping around to other categories, I really love seeing Abby Elliott nominated for Best Supporting Actress in a show television because I think she's an amazing piece of the second season of Fair. Yes. And then... Best supporting. I mean, I I want I want James Marsden to win, but he's going against everyone from Succession. <laughs> uh, but it really, but James Marsden had to work in a way that, like, the improv that he had to do, and and what all of the people on that show had to do. I just feel like, and and there's no, you can't do another take. You can't wait to get it. Like, you just, I mean, I just feel like it's a it's a whole other level of. Mm-hmm. Well, the scene where he has the guy. Wait a minute, James Marsden's going is not going again. Wait, what's he? I mean, he's going against all the guys in succession because they don't divide the categories for supporting by every. Oh, for supporting. 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 In this one, it doesn't matter if you're can sing or not. Right, got it. So for for best actor, it does. But the poor guy who's the center of jury duty, he doesn't get a nomination. No, he wasn't acting. But there's he was no just like unscripted himself. category. Isn't there an unscripted category? I don't think in the Golden Globes. Maybe the mm-hmm. Emmys. It's too bad for unscripted TV. Oh my, James Marsden has to. I mean, like, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, yeah, the Sonic. Okay, when they're in the waiting room with the Sonic the Hedgehog. The Sonic. <laughs> oh, well, so the, the, the the moments are there's that one. There's the reading lines in the bathroom incident. Uh, and then there's the poo, the James, poo. Yeah, when he when thinks I'm, that he left a big poo. That is yeah. I mean, the fact that he agreed to just. And then James Marsden uh, coming in and out of his character. <laughs> he's running lines. <laughs> um, okay. How about this one? This is probably more for Lily and me because we've actually watched Succession. Um, oh, yeah. I've seen three <laughs> best performance by an actor. This I think that best performance a by an actor you, in a television series a... drama, though, that category should just be who is the best actor in succession because everybody is yeah. not from it's not an agent. Karen Culkin, Jeremy Strong, yeah, Brian should... Cox. But for the last um, season of succession, is this for the last season of succession? Yeah, it is. 
but I don't, I only see, wait, on my list, because we're not looking at the same one, I only see Alexander Skarsgård, Alan Rock, and Matthew McCabe. No, that's supporting. Oh, that's, that's supporting. supporting. Oh, oh, sorry. That's oh, I guess Pedro it, Pascal, all, all, Kieran Culkin, Jeremy All Strong. of them, all of them are nominated. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I guess they are. They're just in different categories. Oh, shit. Yeah, but you're it, right. Yeah, no, they but, all so, are nominated. So for the last Karen season Culkin. of Succession. Karen Culkin. I give it to Karen Culkin. He was really? phenomenal. And when he cries, when he like has that shy, like, I don't know. I Although, although there's nothing. I'm the eldest like, boy. Eldest boy. There's nothing like I'm the eldest boy. You're right. I mean, Jeremy Strong's amazing. I don't know. All of them. Can there be a tie? What if there's a tie? I, just, I mean, that's. Just get it there. Oh, I think it's like that show. not possible. Is there any show? Is there any show that you're missing? Like I, I think Shrinking really could have been in That's there. A, well, Jason Siegel is nominated. Oh, okay. So, but but I do think Shrinking's missing. That's a great uh, one. I forgot about that. Forgot about that for this else? year. I think Sex Education is consistently a fantastic show that doesn't get recognized. So maybe that's one for me. Oh. Heartstopper is a really, but those are British. Oh, so can you think white, nominated? Is this just American yeah. shows? Is no, the crown, the crown. No, the crown is think, in the Yeah, the crown. I don't know. Um, um what about Heartstopper oh, is a really a, special, it's a special show, show yeah. and I think that's more unique and than Sex Education for like a young, young person's show. I mean, I think they both um, are. I was just thinking of something else, but then I, I. I lost it. Yeah. Well, this is nice. Now I have a list of movies I can watch or pretend to watch. All right. What have you all actually been watching? I got a few things. Why don't you go first? Okay. So Reacher season two is out. Oh, I'm so excited. I love that show. It's it's very different premise. Uh, I've only seen the first three episodes because I think the only first three are out. It's a very different premise than the previous season where he's like, the previous season is like he walks into a small town and has to and gets in the middle of this crime in a small town. This one is more like uh, it's him and his old military unit trying to solve a crime. You know, it's just, so they are solving a crime, but it's him and his old military unit. So it's much more of an ensemble than it feels like more of an ensemble. Maybe it's the same amount, but it's got Robert Patrick. You know, Robert Patrick, he played the T-1000 in Terminator uh-huh. 2. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, he's so great. he's in, he's in it as some kind of villain. It's unclear what his. I haven't gotten. They haven't revealed it, but he's a great villain. And the movie also, the show has an like an inside meta joke about the Terminator in it, which I thought was really funny. Um, which I thought was really funny. But yeah, so far that show is just. I laugh really hard while I'm watching that show and I enjoy it more than it. Like, I feel like it is any business being as good as it is, but I, I really enjoy it. I have predictions also on, on who, like I have strong prediction that one of the four people that are in his team that are helping him solve the mystery is in on the crime. That is my theory. I'm saying it right (laughs) now. I won't say who I think it is. Then I watched an old movie from, it was like on stars and I just downloaded it and I watched it on the plane less than zero. Andrew McCarthy, Robert oh. Downey Jr., James oh, yeah, Spader, yeah, yeah. and Jamie Gertz. Extremely yeah, yeah. heavy, extremely heavy movie. Kind of or it's a little bit like the graduate, a little bit like midnight cowboy. Um, what made you, I just did always, I had I'd always wanted, it's just on my like, Oh, movies I should probably see. And I, I saw like, it I knew so many that. years. I saw it so long ago. I mean, it's extremely, it's written by the same guy who wrote, American Psycho, I believe. Um, but it, you know, it's mm-hmm. this—you know—it's this sort of sad story of this kid sort of falling into the uh, different kids making different decisions in in their post or in their college years, and and some of and Robert Downey Jr. Though I don't know what he'd done at that point that was dramatic, but what's really fun to watch about this movie, other than that the movie was way too probably close to his real life, um, is that he's like incredible he's such an incredible actor and i think like he's been doing marvel movies for a long time which is great i'm so happy for him but like i think we forget you know he's nominated for I, I, chaplain yeah, I'm ex- and i'm excited yeah. that iron man is dead so maybe he'll do some other kind of movies i think they're bringing him back. and then oh, Jesus. Becky, 
And then Becky and I, for Becky's birthday, my wife, Allie, who deserves the biggest praise for hooking this up. Oh, yeah. She surprised Becky and me and Vlad and were in on it, but but Allie orchestrated it because one of Becky's favorite bands, the Ava Brothers, wrote a musical. Well, they Mm -hmm. wrote the they wrote songs that were used for a musical right they're so they right the, yeah they they wrote the book and that somebody wrote a musical well, and then took their but, song but they wrote a concept album that was about yeah. the story so yeah it's based on a true story which we didn't realize till afterwards although becky was like convinced it must have been the lead i would say he's the lead um is john gallagher jr who was the uh who originated the lead role in american idiot and he was also on the newsroom he was like the young guy that's in love with, is it, who's the, the woman that the gets other kidnapped one. in the second season? Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. So, and he's just like a phenomenal stage actor. And he's absolutely incredible in this play. My one note on the play, well, I don't know, Becky, do you want to give your, your one note on the play? I mean, oh, and the staging is like phenomenal. The stage, oh, the, and the singing opens up and, and the songs are so exciting to hear performed, and it and it is fantastic. It really stays with you, but in part, it stays with you because the second half of the play is about cannibalism, which you're really not expecting when you go you into and a, a <laughs> musical about the with the music by they. You don't think to yourself, you know what these what? songs could be about? They could be about eating someone. And on top of that, like back to the musical or comedy question, where the hell do you put this? Would you dominate this as a musical? It's not a comedy. A musical or a I mean, it's definitely a musical. Um, yeah. But so like it also, extreme, it was extremely like, heavy. The first half was inter- The second half was anyway. gruesome um, and ha- haunts my dreams. But it, it, it was very good. It was very well done. It was very good. <sighs> I just can't. Lily, mm-hmm. Lily, have yes. you seen anything? Have you watched anything? Um, I watched Breeders, which I'll put on the Substack list. I I think it's got it's like if catastrophe and again catastrophe is amazing, but if it was like catastrophe took it to the next level of hating your kids, and so it's like at once infuriating but also very cathartic, and there's very little like idiosyncratic things of of life with children um that are are pretty hilarious um so i watched that i took me years to get into better things but i truly love it now and i think it's a i pamela um alvin is genius adlon Adlon, sorry i'm really bad with the names you know um and shy i started the cult show about the the documentary about twin flames Another culture oh, on Shire, Shire and I, Shire and I are on like different cultural paths right now. We have no, to no, show no, no, no. I'll, 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 no, no, I'll watch no. this one. So I have to warn you, I think it's worse than XM. Mm. It's so <laughs> insane. Okay. But it's and like that, really a lot. And then what was the one that you were? It's not as good uh, as Nexium. Uh, Nexium was something, really something about someone called the Godmother. Oh yeah, God. this one it's is the one, the cult of Mother God. Mother God, oh. that's it. Mother God, have you guys not seen that one? Weird. No, Shai, no. Shai was mentioning. I was, I was interested. Um, I was interested in it. But this twin flame thing is, I, I, I was going to sound What's terrible, twin but flames? like, What's twin flame? It's, it's this. But the end of uh, all these cults, they all like kill themselves, right? No, no, that's Jones. Nexium, Nexium, the guy Nexium, went to jail. They, the guys He's in jail. jail. They, Heaven's Gate, Heaven's Gate, they killed themselves. They did yeah. kill themselves. Yeah. Yeah. But, but um, a lot of them, it seems like people often just go to jail. Or yeah, or people can, and then when people go to jail, some people leave, get like taken out of the cult or leave the cult, and other people still support them. They're still inside the cult, like forever. Um, he, like, I just, I feel really bad for the people that get like trapped into these things. But also, I mean, they might, I don't want to blame the victim at all. But there's a lot of, so many red flags. Maybe since I've watched a lot of cult documentaries at this point. Yeah, maybe the pro- Maybe we just need there's more a lot of red. people should be yeah, watching cult there documentaries There are a lot of red flags here. But um, yeah, maybe, Beck. I'm serious. There's a lot of red flags. There also seem to be a lot of cults. 
So um, this one is about, get the, okay, so this one is about the idea, this notion of twin flames is not unique to this cult. It is that you have a soulmate. It's like saying you're lobster, right? Oh, that out yes. there. Yes, yes, yes. Like, you watched and that? I saw the preview for I, it. I saw, the, I saw the first episode. Um, I'm excited. There's a journalist in, I'm excited that there's like a journalistic part of it, an investigative part of it. That's the part I really like. Hearing the sad stories of the people that got sucked into this, it's a bit brutal. Um, but it's two people like fucking obviously like deep scammers but who per- believe like the, like you need to have that quality or whatever that people will follow you and and be able to like i guess be sociopathic in that sense and um the guy had been for years trying to figure out a way to like become a millionaire and there's a business side to it too and he meets the love of his life and they have a bunch of different websites that they try out. And then they land on twin flames where they will help you find the love of your life. If you buy their classes, uh, 200 bucks a pop and be part of their school. And they guarantee they will help you find your twin, fl- your twin flame out there. And then, then once you do, there's all these rules about how you have to be a twin flame. And it's, it's really really nuts but yeah that's what this one is about so sign me up Shy. you don't have to watch with me i can just report back if you don't want to uh all right beck you've been pretty busy sounds like you're watching a lot of mario brothers there we've just have like a constant stream of kids movies so like i would say today we watched Incredibles and then this other movie Stork that my kids like or no it was maybe it was Boss Baby that they watch I don't know just there's a lot of animated movies on in the background but really I've just been like I watched one episode the newest episode of Slow Horses but it took me it took us two days because we could only get through a half an hour at a time because we've just been hey, so I respect that. by the end I of the day that. moving I back-to-back respect. birthday parties there's been a lot so hopefully you know, next week we're you know, in a week from now we we start vacation and hopefully on vacation we can get a lot more watching in you know that's all. All right. Well, all right. wrap it up for this Love week. You guys. Uh, yeah. folks, folks, uh remember to sign up for our Substack. We're sending out all sorts yes. of extra stuff every week now. Super fun. For those who don't want to listen to us but are interested in what we're watching, it's a great way to keep up. Or or listen and read. Yeah, no, do both. Do both. All right, well, love you guys. Bye. All right, have a great week. Love you. Bye. Thank you for listening to Friday Night Movie, the sibling rivalry and pop culture podcast. Join the Friday Night Movie family by following at Friday Night Movie on all of the socials and visiting our website, FridayNightMovie.com. Our theme song is by What Does It Eat? And make sure to leave us a review on Apple Podcasts or wherever you get your podcasts. Thanks for listening.